In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A special welcome to our sisters and brothers who are joining us from their rooms here at Weill Cornell as we celebrate the nativity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of God's love for us in Christ, we offer praise and thanksgiving to our loving Father for the gift of life, and the gift of faith. Most loving Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of life and the gift of faith, the gift of all creation. Lord, have mercy. Most loving Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Redeemer of humankind. Christ, have mercy. Most loving Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, who enables us to know you, love you, and serve you, and know and love and serve one another. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to eternal life. With joy in our hearts, we join the saints and the angels and the entire company of heaven. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, it is with great joy that we gather together through the Holy Spirit to celebrate and to enter into the mystery of our life with your Son, Jesus Christ. Through this most holy Eucharist, open our minds and our hearts so that we may come, come to a greater awareness of your love for us. We ask you this in the name of Jesus the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you, as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils, for the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster. You have smashed as on the day of Midian, for every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames, for a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests, and I name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever, the seal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Sing the Lord a new song, sing the Lord all you lands, sing the Lord, bless his name. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea 
and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes. For he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in his age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I proclaim to you good news of great joy. Today a Savior is born for us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to their own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because Joseph was of the house of David. He went to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her child. Mary gave birth to her firstborn son. Mary wrapped her son in swaddling clothes and laid her son in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said, do not be afraid. I proclaim to you good news of great joy. There will be joy for all the people. For today in the city of David, a savior has been born for you, who is Jesus Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to those on whom God's favor rests. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, a blessed Christmas to all of our sisters and brothers who are joining us from their rooms here at Weill Cornell. Today's liturgy is offered for your intentions, for the intentions of our families and our loved ones. It's important for us to remember that Jesus 
is not born into our world, we are born into him. We are born into Christ. Today we celebrate December 25th as the Nativity of our Lord because historically that date was chosen by the people of the Roman Empire. The incarnation took place when the Archangel Gabriel appeared to the Blessed Mother and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. That's when our Blessed Mother became pregnant with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And of course, our Lord, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, existed prior to taking flesh the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are born into Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit to the glory of God the Father. That's what we remember today. That's hopefully what we live every moment of every day. We recognize our life in Christ by recognizing our humanity, our personality. Jesus, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, took flesh so that I could know God, that I could know myself, and know all of my sisters and brothers in this global village. I know myself, I know my sisters and brothers, and I know God through becoming familiar with the personality of Jesus Christ. The personality of Jesus Christ as it is revealed in the sacred scripture and in the sacramental life of our church, particularly the Most Holy Eucharist. The life of Jesus Christ reaches the point of redemption through his passion, his cross, and his death. That's where we become most intimate with Christ. It's called the Paschal Mystery. So that as a baptized Christian, I start to have a personality transformation guided by grace which is the person of Jesus Christ. I am born again, as they say, again and again and again and again, until I am born into eternal life. That's what we celebrate today, that loving, merciful, ongoing process of God's full self-disclosure in Jesus Christ and my opening up of my mind and my heart to be transformed by that love. My personality, my time, my talents, my gifts. Visiting the sick, clothing the naked, feeding the hungry, visiting those in prison, teaching the ignorant, casting my life energy with the men and women with whom Jesus associated. That is the celebration of the incarnation, the manifestation of God in time and in history, a fusion of human and divine life. That's what December 25th is all about. The Annunciation of our Lord, the Nativity of our Lord, the preaching, the teaching, the love, the mercy, the compassion, the healing, the forgiveness, is an ongoing dynamic spiritual energy that eventually is manifested in eternal life.
We take a moment now to pray for our sisters and brothers in our global village. First of all, we pray for our sisters and brothers who are joining us from their rooms here at Wild Cornell, Memorial Sloan Kettering, Hospital for Special Surgery, Mary Manning Walsh, all the sick throughout the world, especially during this global health crisis. We pray our sisters and brothers know God's love, mercy, compassion, and healing. We pray for our families and friends, both living and deceased. We pray for our sisters and brothers who live in war-torn countries, especially the Middle East, Asia, Africa. All of our sisters and brothers who are persecuted, all of our sisters and brothers who were denied the dignity of life, especially women and children. We pray that the Lord sends generous men and women into their lives to help set them free. We pray for all of our sisters and brothers who are celebrating the nativity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may offer to Christ the gift of our very life as a sign of our love, our appreciation for the gift of his life and the gift of redemption. We remember our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all world leaders. We pray that all world leaders recognize that all men and women are made in the image and likeness of God, created for the greater honor and glory of God from conception to natural passing. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Most loving Father, we thank you for bringing us together on this feast of the nativity of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As your Holy Spirit transforms these gifts of bread and wine, so transform us and our universe. We ask you this in the name of Jesus the Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to offer you praise and thanksgiving most especially on this feast of the nativity of our Lord, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus is your word through whom you made all things. You sent Jesus as our Savior and our Redeemer. Jesus was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Jesus fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people when he stretched out his hands and endured his passion. Jesus broke the bond of death and manifested the resurrection. With joy in our hearts, we join the saints 
the angels, and the entire company of heaven in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, Jesus gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of our Lord's death and resurrection, we offer you, loving Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We give thanks that you have held us worthy to gather in your presence. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, the people of God, spread throughout the entire world. Bring all women and men into the fullness of charity, love, mercy, forgiveness, and compassion. Together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all who proclaim God's love. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. We pray for our sisters and brothers who have died in this hospital. We pray for our sisters and brothers who are in their agony. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Holy Apostles and the Saints, Saint Joseph, Patron of the Universal Church, Saint Mary Magdalene, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, John the 23rd, Paul the 6th, John Paul the 2nd, Francis of Assisi, Claire of Assisi, Dominic, Catherine of Siena, Vincent Ferrer, Oscar Romero, Teresa of Kolkata, Edith Stein, Bernadette of Lourdes, all the holy men and women who have done your will throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life with them, where we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, with Jesus, in Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. In his great love for us, 
Jesus gave us these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. May we not be led into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. And by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from anything that keeps us from loving you, serving you, and loving and serving one another. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our doubt, but on our faith, our hope, and our love. And graciously grant all women and men peace and unity in accordance with your divine will, who live and reign forever and ever. Sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Together we share a sign of Christ's peace. Peace to our sisters and brothers joining us from their rooms here at Weill Cornell. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Most loving Father, we praise you and we thank you for bringing us together through the Holy Spirit to enter more deeply into the mystery of our life with your Son, Jesus Christ. We praise and thank you for the gift of the celebration of the Nativity of Jesus. May this most holy Eucharist continue to transform our minds and our hearts, that we may proclaim your love, your mercy, your forgiveness, and your compassion. We ask you this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Before we go our way, we, our minds and our hearts turn to our Blessed Mother, the Mother of Jesus, our Mother, and the Mother of the Church. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception, pray for us. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. 